Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our, you've heard the spill. Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing Sweet Nothings again. It is a vegan based, uh, I believe plant based. Yeah, plant based frozen spoonable smoothies. So as you guys know, we've done this before. I think I did it a few months ago. I tried their chocolate. I felt like maybe I didn't get, uh, maybe it wasn't the right texture. So we're going to try it again. Ultimately, I will try all of their, their flavors. because I'm going to try every brand name flavor ever. That's my goal for the rest of my life. So I tempered this a little better, although as you can see, probably should eat these faster or because uh, one of the issues is uh, it gets that frost on top. Some of these brands don't have as much fat or they get uh, frozen, unfrozen, refrozen, unfrozen, etc. And that really takes away from the quality. Last time I didn't feel like the chocolate of the brand was all that great uh, taste wise, but I feel like some of that may have been the texture so I hope everybody is doing well we're gonna go ahead and jump into it as you can see I had to shave my beard who is team beard anybody like beards don't like beards on guys put it down in the comments below team no beard team beard I say that because it wasn't until I got older that I really respected a beard more on men I guess you could say I used to go really clean shaven especially because I was in the military and now as I've gotten older I've really come to like the beard. I had to shave it because unfortunately, as of filming this episode, I am still locked out of my Instagram account. I got fished literally the first time ever in my life. Uh, they were smarter than I am, so <laughs> they got me. I have tried in vain multiple times to send them a video of myself. Apparently, I don't look like myself, so I had to get a haircut and shave because I had a longer beard. And I'm going to shut up and get into it. So like I said today, for the calorie conscious crowd, this is one serving of 90 calories, 9-0. Has anybody ever had this brand before? Did anybody go out and try it before? Well, first things first, this is a lot better version. The chocolate was kind of lacking. Um, it had kind of a banana undertaste. It wasn't really the biggest fan of that. However, This is a much better representation of their product, in my opinion. Nothing against their product, but like I said, the chocolate wasn't very chocolatey. This has strawberries, bananas, cashews, chia, kia, whatever that's called, uh, flax, and dates in it. So it is definitely very vegan-based. I would say that it actually has a very organic taste. Very strawberry, very banana forward. It almost tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie. I wanted to get it at a better temper, but what are you going to do? Also, I put it up on my Instagram. I put it up on my face or not Facebook, my YouTube recently because it literally just happened. For those of you who are following me or new to the show, thank you so much. We just reached... Over 500 subscribers, so I can't thank you enough for showing up and listening to me sit in my room and talk to myself. <laughs> but seriously, I love this show. Um, it's something that really brings me a lot of joy, and I hope we can continue to grow and do good things together. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this rating. A scale of 1 to 10. I'm sorry, a scale of 1 to 100. 10 point rating scale. I know I mess it up like every time. Um, it's also a little hot in here. Sweet Nothing Strawberry. Much, much better. Much better than their chocolate, in my opinion. Uh, the fat content is kind of lacking. Definitely has a more organic sugar to it. Not uh, like high fructose corn syrup, syrup sugar. A more like natural fruit sugar. Um, the banana underlying taste and the strawberry forward taste is something I'm a big fan of. This really tastes like a, in my opinion, a strawberry banana smoothie. I recommend going out there and trying it. It's good. I like, I actually like this a lot for a vegan uh, ice cream world-ish type item. Technically, it doesn't have dairy in it, so I guess you can't consider it ice cream, but it's part of the ice cream world. Scale of 100, 10 point grading scale. For what it is, a vegan option, I'm going to give it a 90. I can't give it a higher quality because it does say strawberry. It does not say strawberry banana. And because of the underlying banana taste, I kind of feel like that takes away from the strawberry. However, I like it, but I'm basing it off what it says, not just what I like. Um, I do, do wish it was a little sweeter. I do like that high fructose corn syrup hit sometimes. 
Uh, but overall, I thought it was really good. So I'll give it like an A minus. It is definitely good. I recommend going out there and trying it. If you've tried this, put it in the comments below. If you know any other good vegan brands, please let me know. Also, while you're there, what did you think about last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out the last ice cream. Uh, let me know what you think about that ice cream. If you can find it, put it in the comments of that video. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's getting hot in here. Can't thank you enough for listening to me ramble ramble. Uh, really enjoy our time. Like I said, uh, this summer I'll be doing more collabs on site and hopefully later this summer and in the fall you'll see me with more people on my show as well as their show. I'm going to take a trip down south and go collaborate with a few people in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and maybe a few other places. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I really can't thank you enough. It means a lot to me to show, show up every week. Tell your friends, tell your family. Come eat Ice Cream World with us. Thank you so much, and I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> anyway, guys, all right, like I said, go try this out. Sweet nothings. Let me know what you think, the strawberry. And I will see you next time.